Hello friends, welcome back. I hope you are doing well. So sometimes I just feel like the luckiest person alive because some opportunities come my way that I cannot refuse. I'm gonna make them an offer you can't refuse. So I'm sitting at home, I'm doing my own thing, when I get an email from Anton and Antoinette. They're a couple from South Africa. And they had just bought a new catamaran sailboat, a Nautitec 40 Open, a beautiful catamaran. And they told me that they had learned how to sail by watching my how to sail video on YouTube. So out of nowhere, they invite me to Spain to join them for a week of sailing on board their catamaran. Swing! Um, yes. Where do I sign up? When do I leave? So I pack my bags and I head to the airport at LAX and I go from LA to Barcelona and that's where the story begins. Or is it Barcelona? All right, I made it to Barcelona and it's really, it's really overwhelming when you first get here. It's huge, I mean, it's just huge. So I'm just gonna try to get out and explore. Not even sure where to start, to be honest, but um, I'm gonna try to find the main street here. I found my little hostel. I'm staying at a little hostel in a neighborhood. I don't know if it's, you know, a common kind of neighborhood. It looks really quaint and there's a little fruit stands and little kind of fancy coffee shops. But now I'm gonna walk down to the main street. And I'm gonna find the, uh, what's it called? Las, la, las, Segura, Familia, whatever the famous places with the spires. So here we go, I've made it to the La Sagrada Familia. This place is spectacular to see in person, which also means it's super crowded with tourists. Construction has been continuous since 1882. Notice the cranes and the scaffolding, but they recently announced that the completion might actually happen in 2026. We'll see. You can go inside the cathedral, but unfortunately I waited until the day of to check for tickets. And they were all sold out for the day. Definitely get tickets in advance if you want to go inside. Still, I was happy enough to see from the outside this absolute marvel of a cathedral. Yeah, I don't know what to expect. I didn't do a lot of research in Barcelona, never been here. So I'm just gonna go and learn with you, but I wanna see as much as I can within this, um, what, 10 hour day. And I've got a bicycle I've, I've rented from the uh, hostel. So we'll see what happens. You can probably hear my bike is kind of creaky, but I'm gonna continue up to that park, Park Gruel or whatever. It's up some pretty good hills to get there. Okay, I've just entered the Park Gruel. I think it's pronounced Gruel, I looked it up. But uh, I'm standing here in front of the little plaza which has the world's largest park bench all the way around here. Also behind me there's all these palm trees, there's tons of these green parrots flying around. It's pretty interesting so I'm just gonna go explore here and show you a bit about uh, Park Ghoul. What else can I tell you about Park Ghoul? Well for starters it's up on this high hill, maybe the highest point in the city, I'm not sure, but it looks out over the entire city so you get some great views. Most of the buildings were designed by famous architect Gaudi. Man, he's the big draw when it comes to the architecture in Barcelona. And this park is no exception. Lots of fun and interesting design to see while you're walking around. It's definitely worth a visit to this park to see the funky architecture, the beautiful landscaping, as well as the great views of the city. So the beauty of a place like this, or a lot of these cities in Europe, it's like Sunday afternoon and you find these plazas that are packed with people, people are enjoying themselves, ballroom dancing, things like that in the middle of the plaza. Next stop, I'm trying to find the Casse Mille, something like that. I'll tell you more about it when I get there. But I'm just driving through, riding through my little neighborhood. Villa 
de Gracia. Uh, now I'm on one of the main boulevards, obviously much bigger, but I'm just trying to find this Casa Mille, Casa Mille. Popularly known as La Pedrera, or the stone quarry, a reference to its... Oh. Yeah. All right, don't mind the Lamborghini. Let me just restart here. Casa Mila, popular, popularly known as La Pedrera, or the stone quarry, is a reference to its unconventional rough-hewn appearance. It is the last private residence designed by architect Antony Gaudi. It was built between 1906 and 1912. All right, the next stop is the Casa Batia, which is another Gaudi architectural building. But right now I'm going down this street, I think it's like the Paseo de Gracia, which is kind of a main street. Well, not kind of, it is a big main street. And a lot of uh, fancy shops I just saw, like Hugo Boss, Gucci, that kind of thing. I'll show you as I go. So the Casa Batio is located at number 43 on Paseo de Gracia, a street that in the past connected the city to Villa de Gracia. That's where my hostel is. The building was built in 1877 by Emilio Sala Cortez. He was one of Gaudi's architectural professors. And then in 1903, it was purchased by Mr. Joseph Batio. He was a textile industrialist who owned several factories in Barcelona and a prominent, he was a prominent businessman. Mr. Joseph Batio granted full creative freedom to Gaudi, putting him in charge of the project, and it was fully remodeled between 1904 and 1906. A lot of bike lanes throughout the city, so that's pretty cool. So it actually is Catalonia Day today. Catalonia Day requires a bit of a history lesson. The Catalonia region was settled by the Greeks way back, way back. We're talking several years before Christ. And then the Roman Empire took over and the region was in dispute for many years. Then around 1462, there was even a Catalan civil war. At first, the Catalans didn't really mind being a part of Spain because at that time, Spain respected the Catalans' different language and different culture. But then there was the War of the Spanish Secession in 1701, which is when the King of Spain essentially tried to erase the Catalan language and culture. The Catalonia people have been fairly pissed off since that time, and there's been a strong movement to keep their language and culture alive. Fast forward to present day, and many Catalans still want the region to secede from Spain. In 2017, there was even a vote for Catalonia to become independent. The Spanish government doesn't want this because Barcelona is an economic powerhouse for Spain that they can't afford to lose. Now presently, there are still a lot of opposing views about this secession idea. And on Catalonia Day, loads of people take to the streets to march and protest. That's a very brief history and probably not extremely accurate, but it gives you a brief overview. Still, it was quite interesting to be here on this particular day. Okay, let's move on to other parts of the city. Now I've made it to La Ramba. It's a main street here that has tons of shopping, tons of people walking around, kind of just souvenir shops. 
We got some pastry shops here. I stumbled upon this park, which I highly recommend. It's in the southern part of the city, closer to the water and the Old Town Gothic area. Really, there are tons of cool things to see in this park. This is spectacular, and I literally didn't even know it was on, it was here. I just like randomly came up on this place. And yet another surprise. Here's like a little lake with uh, rowboats. I just entered back to the, oh, that's it right there. I'm back at the Gothic uh, Center, so I'm here for my tapas tour. And this is how I end my day in Barcelona. I found a nice tapas tour. I think I found it on maybe TripAdvisor if I remember correctly. I always recommend doing a food or pub tour when you first arrive to a city like this because it's really a great way to learn about the city while you're also enjoying some food and drink. That about does it for this episode. Join me next time when I make the short trip down the coast to Alicante where I meet up with Anton and Antoinette for a week aboard their beautiful catamaran. See you next time.